From the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press, I'm Karen Rebo. A coroner's inquest into a 2022 mass stabbing attack on a Saskatchewan First Nation moves into its final stages today. The jury will receive instructions from the coroner this morning. Here's Canadian Press reporter Kelly Malone. Miles Sanderson killed 11 people and injured 17 others on the James Smith Cree Nation and in the nearby village of Weldon on September 4th, 2022. He died in police custody a few days later. The six jurors heard the final evidence of the inquest Monday and will begin deliberations today on recommendations to help prevent similar deaths in the future. Over the last 11 days, the inquest heard how the rampage unfolded from RCMP officers at the scene and healthcare officials organizing the response from paramedics and hospitals. It also heard about Sanderson's life personal relationships, and prison history. Kelly Malone, The Canadian Press, Melfort. Child care operators in Alberta are reportedly set to launch a series of rolling closures today over problems with $10 a day child care. Crystal Churcher of the Association of Alberta Child Care Entrepreneurs says the job action is meant to draw attention to the issues that come with offering parents low-cost child care without ensuring the cost of delivery is still covered. The federal government has said it remains committed to fully implementing the federal program but has not opened the door to additional federal funding. A small Northern Ontario First Nation is reporting some success in a battle with suicides. It was 10 years ago that the Nashkandaga First Nation declared a state of emergency after four suicides and several attempted suicides by teenagers. While the state of emergency remains in place, the community quietly marked the fact last summer that no one had killed themselves in three years. The First Nation credits the work by mental health counselors and festivals that bring community members together. Chief Chris Munoz says it really is important for the community to have fun together as a suicide prevention strategy. It's a time to come together and start to celebrate. It's time to, uh, you know, uh, forget the problems and forget the issues we, uh, we face. Life is worth living. Some pharmacare policy experts are raising concerns about competition and patient access to much-needed medication after Manulife announced its coverage of certain prescription drugs will only apply at Loblaw pharmacies, such as Shoppers Drug Mart. The move affects around 260 specialty drugs that treat ailments such as rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis and cancer. Manulife had previously also covered specialty drugs through Bayshore Healthcare but is now moving to Loblaw exclusively. Steve Morgan, a University of British Columbia professor says these types of deals are a way for insurers to exercise market power in the pharmacy sector and that they risk squeezing out smaller pharmacies that can't compete. But others, like University of Calgary economics professor Aidan Hollis, says the purpose of Manulife's strategy is to force pharmacies to compete for its business. Michelle Zedekian, The Canadian Press, Toronto. This is The Canadian Press. In sports, the Russia figure skating team will still get bronze medals from the 2022 Beijing Olympics, despite yesterday's disqualification of Kamila Valieva in a doping case. The International Skating Union has published an updated result this morning. The U.S. is the new Olympic team champion, and Japan gets upgraded to silver from bronze. However, the demoted Russians get bronze by a single point ahead of fourth place Canada. There are just two games in the NHL tonight, including one in St. Louis. Last night, just one game. Claude Giroux scored late in overtime as the Ottawa Senators rallied to beat Nashville 4-3. There are five games in the NBA tonight, including one in Chicago, where the Bulls will host the struggling Toronto Raptors. The Raptors have lost five in a row. And in baseball news, Canadian pitcher James Big Maple Paxton and the Los Angeles Dodgers have finalized their $11 million one-year contract. From the Canadian Press, I'm Karen Rebo.